Tri-State Tornado of 1925, also called Great Tri-State Tornado, the deadliest in U.S. history, that traveled from southeastern Missouri through southern Illinois and into southwestern Indiana on March 18, 1925. Total time on the ground of the Tri-State Tornado was 3 hours and 30 minutes. During that time, it traveled 219 miles and killed 695 people. Most of them in Illinois. This map shows why this tornado was so deadly. First off was the speed of the tornado. The average speed across its lifespan was an astonishing 62 miles per hour, with forward speeds at times reaching 73 miles per hour. Also worth noting is that the tornado followed a slight topographical ridge with a series of mining towns perfectly aligned the path. The tornado materialized about 1 p.m. local time in Ellington, Missouri. It caught the town's residents by surprise, as the weather forecast had been normal. The storm moved quickly to the northeast, speeding through the Missouri towns of Annapolis, Bela, and Frana and killing 11 people before crossing the Mississippi River into southern Illinois, where it virtually destroyed the towns of Gorham, DeSoto, and Murfreesboro, among others. Murfreesboro was the hardest hit area in the tornado's path, with 234 fatalities. After killing more than 600 people in Illinois, the tornado crossed the Wabash River into Indiana, where it demolished the towns of Griffin, Owensville, and Princeton and devastated about 85 farms in between. Having taken 71 lives in Indiana, the storm dissipated about 4.30 p.m. approximately 3 miles southwest of Petersburg, 